Since she can remember, Audrey Tiberius of Alpine, Utah, has known she wants a large family, and she was always certain that she wanted seven kids. Four boys were born to Audrey and her husband Tyler, 13, 11, 7, and 9 years old. She'd come to the conclusion that having a family of seven would probably not happen by the time she was 41, but she was willing to give it a shot. When Audrey visited the doctor a few years ago to discuss her chances of becoming pregnant, the doctor informed her that her eggs were simply too old to be fertile. Aubrey went through multiple cycles of reproductive treatments because she was determined to expand her family. Every night, she and Tyler prayed for a miracle. But once she stopped receiving treatments, she started to lose her faith. Then a miracle happened, which utterly astounded everyone in the area because the likelihood of it happening was one in 20 billion. One Utah mother had a lifelong desire of having seven children, but as she grew older, the chances were against her. The fact that the 46-year-old became pregnant shocked her, but it wasn't even the most shocking part. Many individuals hope for the impossible and rely on their faith and the power of prayer. It isn't always simple for them to see their dreams come true, but they want it to happen. A woman tried fertility treatment in her desperation to expand her family. When it failed, she turned to prayer as a backup plan. If you don't think miracles happen, this mother's story may change your mind. Everyone's aware that twins are a rare occurrence. Only a select few parents have the privilege of welcoming multiple children at once. Triplets born naturally are much less common and aren't necessarily what parents wish for. Aubrey Tiberius, though, was unique. Although she yearned for additional children, experts advised against it as a realistic objective. The mom's doctors added to their discussion, and the news stunned everyone. When she was 41, fertility doctors informed her that her chances of conceiving through in vitro fertilization were about 10%. IVF. Mother continued, I'm sorry, but your eggs are too old, they said. Three in vitro cycles were conducted, but none were successful. Although Aubrey and her 41-year-old husband, Tyler, Tiberius, were upset, they were appreciative of their four existing sons. They were extremely important to them and offered them a great deal of joy. The mother held on to a seed of faith and kept the desire for a larger family in her heart. She revealed, I prayed nonstop for five years to have more children because I've always desired a tremendously large family, and seven seemed like my magic number. Andre finally got the news she'd been hoping for when she was 45. She was pregnant, which had been years in the making, and required a lot of faith. The family was overjoyed and eager to welcome their newest member. The mom's doctor added to their discussion, and the news stunned everyone. There was no baby in Audrey's belly. She anticipated three babies. There was no other explanation besides a miracle for it. What a blessing from God, the mother cried out. After consulting a statistician, Audrey learned that the likelihood of having identical triplets at age 46 is one in 20 billion. When she remarked it seemed like something supernatural had happened, she wasn't far off. Audrey prayed for the protection of her unborn children because she was aware of the significant possibility of miscarriage at her age. She felt that everything would go according to plan since she trusted her body. Thank goodness it did. In March 2022, Sky, River, and Bay became a part of the Tiberius family, fulfilling a lifelong dream for their mother to have seven kids. Audrey is a devout mother who's proud of what her body's capable of. All day long, she burps, feeds, changes, and pumps breast milk for the infants. The proud mother cheerfully completes each task. Audrey shared that it's difficult. When people are across the room from us, it may be a little hectic at times, just how similar do they look? Having her adorable children made Audrey feel as though her life had now been completed, and despite her first shock, she knew it was fate. The mother's overjoyed and happy with her large family, but she hasn't ruled out having additional children. Her husband agreed with her desire to have a daughter. The sky was the limit, claimed Audrey and Tyler, adding, so perhaps we're not done yet. The future? The mother of seven told her tale to spread knowledge about fertility problems. She remarked, to spare them heartache, doctors need to talk to women about fertility and their options. In another similar story, mother gives birth to a breathless baby. Her husband sees it and begins to cry. After a pregnant woman began to experience feelings of nausea, 
she was brought to the hospital for an unexpected cesarean section. As the situation deteriorated, the physicians became increasingly concerned that the newborn wouldn't make it. The arrival of a new life into the world is always a miracle, but unfortunately many moms have difficulty giving birth to their children. Because of advancements in medicine, healthcare professionals now have a better chance of rescuing premature or sick babies. During the delivery of her fifth child, a woman from Sherman, Texas, experienced something that no mother should ever have to endure. The couple couldn't wait to see their son, but soon after he was born, their happy news turned into every parent's worst fear. Jacob and Hannah Sheriff couldn't contain their excitement at finally meeting their son Urias in 2018. However, while Hannah was in the process of giving birth, she had the sensation that she was going to pass out, and the medical personnel sensed that something was wrong. After the newborn showed signs of distress, the medical staff worked quickly to deliver him from the womb. Hannah's OBGYN, Dr. Kenyon Whittington, stated that it was a situation that required all available medical personnel to be on present and that it was a major emergency. Hannah had a significant blood loss and things didn't appear to be looking good for either her or her baby. Jacob, the husband, was shaken to his core when he first laid eyes on his newborn child and noticed that there was no pulse or other indications of life. The newborn didn't cry, and the new father felt his world had ended. This is what he said. Then I see him come out, and he doesn't appear to be. That is, he's passed away. Jacob put his trust in God because the child had no pulse, and CPR was not having any effect on the situation. He requested his relatives and friends to pray for his little son, since it appeared as though he was going to stop breathing. According to Dr. Whittington, after approximately 10 minutes, it's basically a fruitless endeavor, if you don't have a fetal heart rate, said the doctor. The medical staff performed cardiopulmonary resuscitation on the patient for a whole 20 minutes, during which time they looked for any sign of life. In a miraculous turn of events, a pulse was restored, but the doctors reported that irreparable harm had already been done. During the flight to Texas Health Presbyterian, the infant started to become unresponsive, despite the fact that he and his father had been flown there. He was battling as a result of a lack of oxygen, and the doctors feared that if he lived, there would be delays in development in his growth. The couple was relieved to learn that their kid had been fighting so hard to stay alive, but they were devastated to hear the diagnosis from the doctor. The caregivers speculated that infant Urias would never develop the skills necessary to talk, walk, or feed himself on his own. The couple also learned that 40% of people who had experienced identical health difficulties as Urias didn't make it through their ordeals alive. Despite this, they made the decision to put their faith in God. Jacob shared with their physicians, Both my wife and I consider ourselves to be persons of faith. My son is being prayed for by a large number of people, and I believe he's going to blow your mind in some way. However, it was not an easy task and they had the impression that they were receiving one punch after another. The father and mother solicited prayers for their child on social media, and their posts garnered a significant amount of attention very quickly. Users of a group that was dubbed Pray for Baby Urias offered words of encouragement and prayed for the child's well-being. Not long after that, the family reported having strange occurrences that could not be explained. Latricia Bell, the night nurse, checked on Urias and reported that the baby's eyes had opened while she was examining him. The family was encouraged to maintain their hope that Urias would make a full recovery by the fact that he showed even a slight sign of life. Nurse Bell said that the hospital room had a nice atmosphere, and she continued, I checked the monitors, and it appears as though the patient was no longer having any seizures. That was the final word on the matter. You hear stories of miracles, but God allowed me to witness one personally. Urias' strength continued to improve over time, and eventually he was able to begin breathing on his own. The newborn was discharged from the hospital after having spent a total of three weeks there, and everyone was shocked to see that he'd already reached all of his baby milestones. After approximately one year, when Urias' parents received the report from the doctor, they were anxious about it. However, the comments of the physician demonstrated unequivocally that a miracle had taken place. The physician explained, I've only had a couple of other situations where people have made a full recovery, and I'm just telling you, here's one of them, the doctor said. He's one of the guys that made a full recovery. The example that Urias sets in his daily life is an inspiration to his family and friends. 
The resilient child possesses a battling spirit, and there's no question that his tale will continue to motivate others in the years to come. Well, friends, that's the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, that it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like. Leave us your valuable comment, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.